What's up guys? This is my training from this week starting with Monday. It was March 31st. Um, high bar squats. So it's 10 again. Um, the first week I did these, uh, I did not wear a belt and went lighter because it was actually the week after my meet. So <clears throat> got to go a little heavier today. Um, and I did, let's see, 145 for 5, 175 for 10, 180 for 10 for two sets. And then after, I think this is 180 for 10 here. Um, I don't know if it was my first or second set here. But after I did that for two sets, I was like, oh, I'll do 185 for my last set. Because prior to doing this, I hadn't done high bar squats except for... Um, on pause squats and I, I got 185 for three. So pretty excited about that. Um, looking forward to seeing how it helps my low bar squat. So this is 185 for 10 in this clip here. Um, after squatting, I went to benching to a one board and I was pleasantly surprised with how that went. I think that the one board is actually starting from where I get stuck in my regular bench actually. So it was a good, good experience. I thought I didn't think I was going to actually be able to go as heavy as I did, but I did <clears throat> 115 for five, 120 for five, 125 for five and 130 for five. I believe I have the two clips here of, yeah, this is 125 for five and then I have 130 for five too. So happy about that. Thought it was gonna be a little more difficult, but that's definitely what the past three weeks has been, just figuring out where my weaknesses are, what exercises I can do to help them. So basically everything that I suck at, Eric's going to leave in my next program. So it's a good time. So this is 130 for five here. Um, after that on Monday, just did some Arnold presses, some Tate press, which is very awkward, and then side laterals. So speaking of awkward, this is Wednesday's training, and I had to do Zercher squats. And first of all, they're really painful. And I think that, I mean, I never went heavy enough to where the squat was actually slow, but definitely not a fun experience. I actually am numb in my right forearm still. Uh, I tried to use my longer wrist straps just for some sort of padding between me and the bar, but I don't, don't know why we didn't use the axle bar, but we didn't. So anyways, I did... 95 for 6, 105 for 6, 125 for 6, 135 for 6, 145 for 6, and this is 155 for 6 here, so nothing crazy heavy. Definitely suck at these, though. Um, I've never felt something so much in my upper back, way more than even front squats, so that was interesting. So then benching with chains, uh, this is 40 pounds of chain. Um... So the numbers that I'm stating here are with that 40 pounds added. So I did 115 for six, 125 for six, and then 130 for six for two sets. Um, I actually, on my second set, because we were involving some RPE here too, and I knew after this set that I couldn't necessarily go up without it being a 10 because it was supposed to be a nine. Uh, so what I did is I, in my second set, I actually just did longer pauses. So that was that. Um, and then we are into today. Friday, I just did log press, incline, barbell, dips, press downs. And then today I was doing conventional pulls. I actually haven't pulled conventional since um, August when I switched over to sumo. But it's interesting to see how pulling sumo actually made my conventional a lot better looking 
and a lot stronger. Um, prior to this, I did pull 315 conventional, uh, but my best rep PR was 275 for two. And today I did 225 for five, 275 for five, and then 285 for two sets of five. So pretty pleased with that. Um, it was crazy to actually be using my legs in conventional. I mean, my legs were actually shaking because I was pushing them through the ground because for any of you that have followed me long enough to see my old conventional pulls, they were definitely just straight stiff legs. So this is 285 for five here. Um, same situation here. I probably could have gone up, but it wasn't about, you know, PRs or getting anything crazy. Just getting the volume in, and uh, so I just did two sets with this, and then followed with some step ups, some shrugs, and some hamstring curls. So that was it. Thanks for watching, guys.